you're watching Vini TV, a wine show packed with bacalhau and passion for wine. And as always, hosts are Arto the Wine Devil Koskelo and Ilka Ziren. Not to forget uh, Mr. Ron Jeremy. Yes, we don't have chances actually here today, so we are replacing her with Ron Jeremy. And I have to start with an apology. If our level of uh, energy today is lower than usual, it's because yesterday we had a sophisticated dinner with Charles Back from uh, Fairview Winery, aka getting shit faced. <laughs> so let's see how this episode goes. But the EWBZ, the European Wine Blogging Conference, is approaching fast. Definitely, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Last year was a blast in Vienna and this year is going to be held in Francia Court. I'm really looking forward to it. Lots of bubbly and bubbly means always a good time. I reckon 100 million bubbles consumed before I live. <laughs> anyway, we're today drinking some Portuguese wines. Yeah, uh, we got a delivery yesterday with two uh, wines from Portugal that I actually have never seen before, which is the first. Uh, so I'm actually really looking forward to tasting this and the first one is from Vinho Verde region. Arto, Let's what can you tell well, us about the Vinho Verde region? It's quite often uh, only uh, cheap and cheerful, but sometimes you get these complex notes uh, with uh, unbelievable freshness, usually low alcohol. Uh, do I sound professional? Yes, very professional. Go Good. For it. Let's have a sip. As you see, we're not actually a real wine professional. It takes at least 15 minutes to open a bottle of wine. It usually comes with a high level of acidity. Is that right? Ooh. Yeah. Um, so zippy I, stuff. Yeah, I mean, I guess it, you know, back in the day, it was kind of a wine that had problems with second fermentation in the bottle, so it yeah, had this kind like of fizziness. Frisante, as the Italians say. So, anyways, this was uh, called Air. Vino Verde and producer or the winemakers Antonio Lopez Ribeiro. And the cool thing about this is that uh, it's actually organic and I think it's in the verge of converting some vineyards to biodynamic. Yeah, biodynamic so, calendars are in use. Yes, yeah, so, so um, future, future is going to be interesting. And this wine was uh, in the restaurant Noma, which is the best restaurant in the world. So Big it up. should be interesting. And I get this lovely green apple notes combined with some. Uh, Moderate florality. Let's have a sip. Yeah, I mean the nose is not that powerful. I mean it's kind of shy, but it's it's rather cold as well. Ten and a half percent alcohol. Not much. Is there some uh, residual sugar in it? Do we have any s technical information? Let's see. Thirteen grams per liter residual sugar. Okay. And a very very low pH. So it's really really. Uh, Acidic. <laughs> anyway, for me this is a new kind of style of Vino Verde. I'm not a big professional when it comes to this kind of uh, wine style, but for me this is more like a Mosel Riesling than uh, your typical uh, plonk Vino Verde. Would you agree? I definitely would not. And the thing, <laughs> the thing I want you to remember about Vino Verde, there's actually one of the biggest, if not the biggest wine region in Europe. It's huge. And and everybody has this idea of Vino Verde, cheap, bad, white wine, slightly fizzy, but there's a lot of different things going on. For example, this one. So, I mean, keep an open mind and taste more Vino Verde. Yeah, I second that. Anyway, it's, it's surprisingly good stuff. Thumbs up. And the residual sugar in this wine kind of surprised me in a very good way. I mean, usually... No, that was a surprise. I haven't tasted that kind but of what, sugar. What's interesting of this part of Portugal is that uh, in the north, they make these really uh, light, fresh uh, white wines. But then when you go south, you get these full-bodied reds. What's yeah. up with that? I guess the climate, I don't know, and the varieties. I mean, they use a lot of different kind of white varieties, Loureiro I think is the main variety in this one, yeah. and Aveso and all that other shit. Uh, and even the red wines from Vigno Verde, Vignon, I mean, it's one of the best wines to have with fish, you know, grilled fish, this very, very acidic yeah. and tannic red wine, which is very unusual. Have you, by the way, ever tasted a wine made of 100% uh, out of Loureiro white wines? There's some interesting coming uh, from uh, Spain, Galicia. Well, there's, there's actually a funny thing, and, and there's few producers in Vino Verde that are fighting against, against the uh, Vino Verde label because they know that it's, it's 
not good for them. I mean, people have the, the stereotype of Vino Verde region, so they're really kind of trying to step back from the Vino Verde name. So what's in, in this wine? Is it something like Tricadero? Or uh, I think the... Oh, here is Castas. Uh, Tricadero Aragonés, which is Tempranillo, or yeah. Tinta Roriz, and Alicante Boucher and Torriga Nacional. At least you, you need to have at least four grapes when you're in Portugal making red wine. At least. So what do you get on this one? Uh, Oaky notes on the on aromas, but it's balanced on the palate. Uh, sort of uh, in the middle of being uh, firm with the structure and then again ripe with the fruit. I think it's balanced wine and uh, decent quality. Yeah. It's not too bad. It's it's uh, overripe and oaky, which is very typical for Alentejo. Not in general, but there is a lot of that going on Just there. You reckon it's too oaky? For me, I'm usually rather sensitive when it comes to oak, but th with this one, I think it's okay. I, I guess it's in the middle, it's, it's it's fine, but when I taste it, it kind of falls flat. So, so I mean, you're, you're going to argue with me? Yes, I once again. But I will definitely would go with this one. This was very surprisingly good and this was kind of average. Should average. we do the thumb thing? The thumb thing? Yeah. Thumb thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, this was good and this was... And one average. thing, can you raise your arm please? Thank you. Now we can continue sipping uh, some other wines. Wrap it up. All right. Taste more Portugal, taste Vino Verde, taste Alentejo. Don't trust what we say. Trust your palate. Cheers.